Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 2, Episode 2 of Motherland for Salem. This time the title of the episode is Abomination, and yes, we are here, we're back for the second episode of Season 2 of Motherland for Salem. And I am very excited, I'm very excited because the previous episode, I think it was amazing, and I cannot wait to, like, know more. Uh, we know that... Because of Tally uh, linking, in a way, you know, becoming a BD uh, for Tat, uh, for Adler, um, that there is, you know, some sort of connection still left between them. I mean, she's, uh, she had a dream about worms and then she was like, you know, her body reacted to the dream as well so there's a lot of craziness happening uh bell collar though oh my god the way i ship them um then we well still is still uh with rael's mom and yeah a lot of shit is happening uh basically <laughs> uh but i'm excited i'm excited to watch this new episode to see they, what they have in store for us so i hope you guys enjoy and i hope you guys continue supporting for more so give a lot of thumbs up subscribe comment hit the notification bell you can go right now to patreon and watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more so in case you guys want to do that like I said, the link is in the description down below. And thank you to everyone who's supporting my reactions, both on YouTube and on Patreon. You guys are amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And without further ado, let's just begin with Season 2, Episode 2 of Motherland for Salem. Here we go. <laughs> Abigail seems in pain. Damn. Okay, so that wasn't it. Physical and environmental stressors. Okay, th can you stop? <laughs> disappointing. I've got Not disappointing you're putting them through traumatic events or something like that. I don't like that. Leave them a little bit also like how powerful are they? Coming from the hate, I had hoped to tell tests. We can oh. keep going, ma'am. For now it's more important. <laughs> Rail is that. like the hell you said? <laughs> Maybe you can't, I can't. You join Cadet Craven for the start of War College. But ma'am, in the desert this week. Ah! Uh. Uh. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Well, is it, it's just because Rail hasn't shared, like, a very important piece of information that she touched that thing, you know, the, the mushroom that I don't know the name of, okay? I'm learning the names very slow, slowly. I still can't say, is it Carmilla? It's not the Carmilla, it's the Camarilla, or something like that, I don't know. Oh! See? General. The, mush the mushroom thing. Keep me informed. But they don't know about any changes on that. Yeah, that's creepy. Okay, okay. But also kind of amazing. All right, Bells, I know you've been waiting for this day your whole life. So. All right, Bells, I love when they call each other their nicknames, you know? It's just so adorable. Look at her, she looks so adorable. Oh, what are we for? Yeah, when do we meet our camps? Let people talk. Yeah. We'll show them what we're made of soon enough. Very true. You know what can happen when you get too close. Shit. Oh, she misses Rael, right? Why you reach out to her? I walked in the door and saw that my girl was growing up without me. I got angrier. So you decide to pretend that you're dead. <laughs> How does this make sense? <laughs> and that anger... What would I even say? Yeah, what will you say, right? Welcome to War College, Sekhmet. I'm your coven leader. I know her from some place. Have I seen her before? I, I I don't know. Yep, I'm terrible at remembering faces, but some feel familiar. But I still don't remember. Wonderful. Call me M. The fuck is? Sorry, but earlier. No need to apologize. What kind of witchcraft is witchcraft is that? That scared the shit out of me. I was staring at you. Gossip's a high school thing. Silla. 
It's connected to her. That would suck. It did. <laughs> Stop. The woman is like. <laughs> I'm all done with secrets. Yeah, minus this one. How? That is so creepy. So, Lobo was never big on tradition. Well, unless it was the tradition of giving you shit. Yeah. She was fond of that one. Yep. Yeah. Pretty fun. Oh, and, and I didn't mean to. I'm kidding. Are you, though? <laughs> is she always as serious? Yeah. Yeah. Working the truth, no matter where it leads you. Why are you looking so intensely at her? <laughs> and like, I know it's about their connection, right? You're gonna have to make sure that there's enough to share. I think this is the part where we keep silent. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. She seems nice though. I was halfway around the world at the time. How is that possible? Uh, you real? Oh. That must have been her voice it was using. Yeah, she was talking about Rayla. Rayla was the only person who somehow Okay, you figure it out. You're so smart. You kill a bunch of people that day, Sela. A lot of innocent people. Look at how many more you affected. Shane is very inspiring. Oh, that's He's Shane, good, right? He certainly is. I lost both my parents in this attack, and uh, I think about them all the time. Hello. <laughs> Hello, ache. <laughs> what is Anna Costia doing here? She's trying to keep tabs on our girl, right? I know it's hard. Human left in her. Oh my god. While looking directly at her. Shit. Oh my god, Anna Costia? Yes. You mean the remorse has been written all over your face from the moment you walked in here? That one? Dang, <laughs> do you mean that one? Look, we, uh, we've seen each other at rallies the past few weeks. Yeah. Feels like we're kindred spirits. <laughs> I wouldn't call it I'm that. I'm so sorry. This is all a bit overwhelming. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> I love how similar sometimes uh, Abigail and Rael are. Like, they were like, oh, she's crying. Let's go. <laughs> you okay? How many of you are wondering why you need to study this at all? Isn't it just for the Hague at this point? Oh, you have to be weird. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I lost you at the end. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, well, you. <laughs> Ray so dumb with it. <laughs> Excuse me, General. The Hague delegation has arrived and why do they? I, I don't know. They seem a lot close, right? And like, I don't know. Waiting for you in your office. Carry on, cadet. Like, look at the way she looks at Adler. Why Dylan and I might settle. <laughs> this child? Semeva. <laughs> Stain of their blood from this earth forever. Well, that is true. I will root them out and destroy them in my country. Can I count on you to do the same in yours? Yes. It's our common enemy, so why will they say no? Actually, I want to talk to them. Like, why will they want to do that? We just never click that way. And what if, what if it is, though? You need to put that power in the service of your will. Maybe you can help me with that. Are they flirting? Yes. No. I think I could do that. You can stop dreaming about her now? <laughs> Her smile? Is she falling in love? Will not hesitate to use it. Is that sound? It's that yeah, it's coming from this. Oh. It's freaking me out. Neither will I. Ugh, that sound. Now is there anywhere we can turn? No. Oh! What in the hell? Oh my god, this is creepy. Oh, this is too creepy for me. Oh no. That was creepy. Oh my god. But like, kind of badass, but like creepy. You know? I have to find the source of 
that is making this happen. Oh my god. Fox does one. Oh. What is going on? You have to identify the sound and destroy it. Source of working. Yep. Oh, this is very scary. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, Anacostia, go ahead. I'm gonna get us some more beer. Be right back. Are they really drunk? No, they are good. <laughs> way too far. You have to learn to work together, right? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Look away. Those are possessed by demons, I bet. If one of this. <clears throat> oh, no. Screw this place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what the fuck? I knew this was gonna happen. That's so creepy. Oh! Do something. Oh, it comes from that. Interesting. Yep. Good job. Where are Rail and Abigail? Name's the guest in here, but. Uh... Hello? Hello? What the hell? Oh. Oh. Oh shit. You touched her. Did you touch. What are you doing? No! Oh my god! She's like screaming for her girlfriend. Right, do you hear what you've done? Oh my god! What is going on? Oh! Are you doing that for yourself or for Abigail as well? Holy moly! It's conc Thank you for approving the test. Oh, so but both times it was trigger because Abigail was in danger. Because they linked and Abigail was about to die. So she hold her hand and then did that and protect the, the both of them. Okay. So we're coming closer to them being, you know, canon. I love this. I love this song. Was a risk worth taking? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just really tired. I'm gonna go back to the room. Oh, she hates not being part of this. Go kiss her. Oh, stop. So Don't it was catch like and release. People. Oh, damn. Just as you will always choose yours. She's not good right now by handling, like, rejection or anything. Oh, Abigail, the love of my life. A lot of people feel that way about her. I didn't always trust her myself. But now I love her. Because this is what it looks like. There's no one there. Oh, who's that? It's her. Oh. She's real. Yeah. Maybe she was in love with Adler. But that has nothing to do with anything. But like... Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, guys. So that was the end of Season 2. Episode 2. Of Motherland for Salem. And yeah. That was an interesting... Interesting episode. You know what I said that I am liking... A lot and that have always liked about Motherland for Salem is the incredible world that they are creating. You know, yes, us as the audience, we are kind of like learning about this big thing. It's not just witches in the army and like they have like a year training, like, <laughs> you know, and then they go off to war. No, there is so much more behind it. You know, they're they, I act, they are going to actually have, you know, uh, uh, classes and they do like a bunch of things. And like, it does really feel like they have, you know, uh, make it even better. And, and, you know, that they really have gone from basic to war college. And like, uh, it's, it's so badass. I think that is amazing when, you know, the writers are... Uh, smart enough to really think all these things that are kind of not not like essential to the plot but kind of drives the entire thing at the same time you know because of course they have like the one enemy 
and they are, you know, in war college and like this things, you know, her, the, them learning about these things will help them with the ultimate goal that is, you know, destroying the, the, the karma. What is it? The Camarilla. You know, so the common enemy. <laughs> um, so it, it's it's amazing. It's amazing to discover all of this. We are in season two and we are yet still learning about it. And like, do you know the implications of this? Do you know that this could go, like this show could go on for like, I don't know how long. Because the world and everything they're building is so rich. Because we have been through basic. Okay. So this new girl will also go through big We already know how that might look, you know, the things that they might do and all of that. And, but, and then you have war college, but we have so many, you know, uh, new witches that might come in. And like once our characters are in a point where they graduate or they become generals or whatever, we still can have a new group of people. Like, going through the things, you know, through the, the basics of of training. And we still can have our characters. It's just, I feel that it's so amazing. It's such a beautiful, like, very smart way to do it. I just love, I really love it. it I feel like it's like, I don't know. It, 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 I, it, I don't know why I have this. It's very Game of Thrones-like, you know, where... The, the world is so vast and so, like, there's so many variables to everything, you know? So, I don't know. I, it just feels that epic, you know, I, in my opinion. Anyways, um, but this show, I mean, this episode was just amazing. Now, I'm not sure what is happening with Sarah Adler and Tally Craven, okay? We know that they share this connection, but does, like, the BDs don't look at Adler and Sarah the way Tally looks at her. She looks at her with such admiration and love. You know, it's like, for her, like, and when the girl was like, yeah, we don't trust Sarah Adler in my house. She was like, the fuck you say about my girl? <laughs> like, Tally was like, she took it at heart. It was like, they were insulting her. You know, I understand that the, the, the link, you know, will last forever. You know, they are forever, you know, that bond that they share because she is a, she was a bitty for like five minutes, but she was still, it's, it's still going to be there. How is she able though? How is Tally able to get into her dreams? Well, not necessarily her dreams. She's her memories. I think she is accessing her memories. Right? And now she can also see sound. That's that's the way that she was able to um, tell um, about where the source of the sound was coming from. That is badass and I love that because out of the three of them, I think Tally last season, we didn't get to see how powerful she was, you know. So um, I just find this just so amazing you know and so powerful and why is it that she's able to do that is Adler able to do that and now by connection through the bond that they share now she is able to see this as well I don't know I did love the canon and off canon thing you know because I'm all for like shipping non-canon ships <laughs> so I felt represented on this one I don't know why but it was interesting it was interesting to get to know that that even though they are not able to use this type of, of, of work, um, even though they, they are not able to use it, they need to be able to recognize it in order to neutralize the threat, you know? So they are, they have to be aware of the non canon things that they have, that they, uh, um, that they can do, but that they need to be aware of. So it's very interesting. And I like that scene with the dolls oh my god that was creepy okay but the dolls um yeah it was creepy but when they were like in sync and like doing the things and like marching and all of that you know that was extremely creepy as well this episode was like is this the conjuring is annabelle coming i was like 
I was ready to drop the show. <laughs> yes, I don't like scary movies and like this was pretty creepy and scary. Um, but yeah, they're learning and I love learning with them. This new ways of, of battling and all of that. It's just, I think it's amazing. Um, now, Rail is the one who touched the mycelium. Is that how you say it? I don't know. The, the, the mushroom white thing, you know, and she touched, touched it and she came like she did she left on harm physically but the thing is connected to her and now it protects her you know so what happened on the field we were like oh is the power of you know abigail and and rael and as someone who ships them i really thought that was i was on the right but turns out it, it's it's only Rael. I you know what? I think that there is something there. Both times that it have been triggered, both times it in, involved Abigail Bellweather. So my cannon, like my 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 shipping heart, you know, is like well, but it was triggered because she wanted to protect Abigail. Okay. Um, but it was not. Uh, well, they have said to. Uh, Abigail that well you are not special actually it's just real so that competitiveness within her and like because she really wanted to give something to the army she like her entire life has been about that so for her to hear that you did not do this it was only real it kind of discouraged her you know which made me feel terrible because I, I love Abigail you know so but I don't think there are they are a hundred percent right. I think that Abigail has something to do with it, or maybe it's just emotional, you know, and like the fact that she loves Abigail so much is the thing that makes her, you know, is the trigger for this. I don't know. I think it will be so beautiful. I mean, Abigail is still with her storyline with what is his name, Tarim? No, that's the name of Adele. He's cute. Did not necessarily like the fact that he was like, oh, were you hanging, like, what's the deal between you and Gregory? Well, whatever the deal it was, it's in the past and, like, you shouldn't care, right? And, like, she was like, no, I mean, we never clicked that way. But I was like, why, why is this necessary? Why is it necessary for you to tell her, to tell him, oh, I was actually with him or not? And, like, he was so happy that she wasn't. Like, I'm like, I don't need that. You know, um, but yeah, I mean, she cares a lot about um, a deal. And do I sense chemistry between them? Yes. Do I want them to be like endgame? Do I see that? No, I'm sorry. I don't. Um, mostly because I ship Rael and Abigail. So what can I do? It's just the hard ones with the hard ones, you know. Um, anyway, so you have that storyline which is very boring to me at moments anyways but a deal is cool you know and like now he's gonna be teaching them the the mother tongue is that how you say it um and yeah that that seems pretty cool you know because they need to learn that for some spells or something i don't know um but we'll see what happens there what else happened on the episode oh anna cost you like, I love, I love her. And, I, like, I understand that she's doing this for the right reasons, you know. Because she was like, but how did she got out of the army? Like, she went to Adler and said, you know what, I need some vacation. And, like, I'll see you in, like, a couple months. What, how, what, huh? I don't know. Maybe she has, like, free time. And that's when she goes and follows, um, Scylla. But the thing is. That in this on this episode we kind of like confronted how evil the things that the spree did and Scylla, uh, how evil it was, right? Because she walked in with a room full of how many people? I don't know how many lives. She, you know she took that day and how many more she affected. You know. And the Camarilla, or whatever the name is, is a direct response of the terrorism that the spree 
was uh, creating. Because they did that. Okay, I love Scylla. I like Scylla. I think that it's amazing that we're getting to explore her as a character rather than just, you know, Rael and Scylla just, you know, being one dimensional and just being each other's girlfriends. I, you know, I'm glad that we are exploring more of them separate, you know, rather than together. Uh, I think it's amazing. I think it's, it, you know, you oftentimes you have uh, shows where, um, you have one leading lady who is a, uh, a gay, bi, or, you know, lesbian, bi, whatever. And she only has the one relationship. Um, and that one relationship that she has, that person becomes the girlfriend. And they have no use in the storyline other than being the girlfriend. <coughs> Supergirl. <coughs> anyway, so, you know... And I love that it's not happening here. Yes, I hate the fact that they were separated and they were not getting to see Rael and Scylla together. But I think that character-wise, it's, it's just perfect that they are able to exist on the show independently of their relationship. Because at the end of the day, that will make them even stronger. Because they don't have to exist just to be each other's girlfriends. I think that's amazing. You know, I of course, I want them together already, but... I am okay with spending more time with both of them, learning more things about them, getting to see them, you know, thrive as individuals and then putting them back together. Right, like, as soon as possible. <laughs> like, I'll give you two more episodes. and that's it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very mature, as you can see. But it's good, it's good. It's honestly, it's a good thing. Um, but, like I said, we're confronted with what Scylla did. And look, I'm I'm not going to like sugarcoat anything. Like she killed a lot of people. She says, and like honestly, I don't really understand the spree. I I mean, I understand uh, the meaning behind it, which is like, you know, witches should be free, and you know how many witches witches have fought. fought for this endless words for humans and we're still not appreciated. And like, in that aspect, I understand. But them killing innocent people who have nothing to do with the decisions that were made in the past is like, terrible. And it is terrorism, okay? And now they are being attacked, so they are not longer doing that. But now the Car Camarilla, they're doing that in the name of the spree. So blaming them, and that it, it just gets to tell you, hate brings out more hate, you know? And they are responsible for what they're happening, even though now the, you know, Rail's mom is like, oh, actually, we're the good guys. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're terrorist, you know? So my, there might be a message behind it, but you're still terrorist, okay? You, like, Scylla still kill a lot of people that day. The spree killed a lot of people that day. So in response, you have this. Of course you do. You know, and I'm not saying that Adler has nothing to do with this either. Because the things that she does has also inspired the hate from the spree. Um, but they're not killing innocent civilians, you know, at least. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that. But it was, it was really bad, like, seeing her walk in on the place that she actually, you know, committed this awful crime, you know? And I love that Anacostia was there, like, mm, yeah, well, you were feeling remorse, you know, I saw it. Um, but she was, like, being, like, trying to provoke her, but also saying, like, sadly, I have to work with you, even though I hate the spree, even though I don't think like the spree. We do have a common enemy, and we do have to get rid of it. You know, uh, the spree are doing it more for selfish reasons because they are like, oh, now they are attacking us, the witches, you know, and we don't know how, how to get rid of it. So we kind of have to bond with the military because it's our common enemy uh, while attacking the military as well. So I don't know. I'm not really happy with the spree. Um, anyway, so yeah, it was a badass. Oh, also, who was that lady? that was in, in Adler's memory, that apparently they have tried to erase from history. What did she do? Was she, like, 
I don't, I don't know. I mean, I said, oh, maybe she was in love with Adler. Because anything could go, go gay at any minute. I Why not? But I'm pretty sure that's not where it's going. And probably it's going to something more interesting. Or maybe her being the one who had a lot more power than Adler. You know? And I, don't, I, I have no idea. But I do like that we're seeing a lot more of Adler before she became who... You know, the general who just goes around giving orders and, you know, deciding on who lives what day and what, you know. Um, I like it because it just gives you the the uh, background of her actually earning her place to be the general, you know, to be there. Because she has also fought wars and all of that. So I'm interested in knowing that part of, of her story as well. Um, but yeah, this episode was great. Rael doing that cocoon thing that was protecting her. Badass. Abigail feeling sad. Not good, because I love Abigail. Tally being a badass on this episode. Loved it. And in love, I'm pretty sure that she's falling in love with Adler. Which is like, okay. I could use more gays. Like, why not? Right? I could use it. Um, We met a new guy, Gregory. You know, there are not a lot of male witches on... War College, that means that he's very powerful as well. Um, so I'm interested in getting, in getting to know him more. Um, but yeah, it was a badass episode and I cannot wait for the next one. Have I watched the After the Storm videos? I haven't because I like being clueless. <laughs> and also because I haven't had the time, but I promise I will do it soon. Because I have seen that they have posted the storm, behind the storm or after the storm, something like that. For this episode as well, right? They, they, they always post for every single episode. So I need to catch up. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue to support for more. Give it a lot of thumbs up if you love Motherland for Salem. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. You can go to Patreon right now and watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So yeah, link in the description down below. And for now, that's about it. Thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Motherland for Salem. Yeah, see you guys next week. Mwah. Bye.